I can't wait to have my daughter back in my arms. Tell her how much I have missed her. Tell her how much, how much I love her. So I'm just waiting for that moment. I don't know what else to say. I do not know what to ask. I'm so excited. Yeah. Raquel Kokom has been desperately waiting to be reunited with her three-year-old daughter Vera Timofeev since November 5th, 2017. That is when her ex kamala husband of nine years, Andre Timofeev, a Russian national, took her daughter from Trial Farm Village in the Orange Rock District to South Carolina, USA to visit her grandmother. But Timofeev had alternative plans for baby Vera. At the first point, I didn't want let my daughter go. We had a quarrel, yes, it's true, like any, but after all, he convinced me because we were in our relationship of nine years. So he never made one, it's just to make I mistrust him. So at the end of the point, I gave him the permission and we came to a verbal agreement that in two weeks he will be back with my daughter. That never happened and it has now been over a year. Kokom thought she will never see her daughter again. A lot of this came to my mind that maybe I will never see my daughter again if I know find help. She found the help she needed in Elisa Castellanos, who heads the Kun Alam Belize, a grassroots human rights advocacy organization out of Orange Rock Town. With the help of the organization, Kokom relied on the provisions of the Hague Child Abduction Convention to have Vera returned. There are elements of manipulation and, and psychological abuse in this case. And so we really came on board to try to, to, to help Ms. Kokom because she really didn't, wasn't getting the attention in the beginning that she, she needed for the case. And it wasn't being, being seen with the urgency that it really requires. And the whole point of Hague Convention um, Treaty is to make sure that these especially parental abduction cases are treated quickly because the child is growing, you know, there are issues of, of the trauma of, of separating children from their mothers. And so we really, this, these cases require urgency and require holistic, compassionate approach, which now we see a, lot, well, a big difference in, 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 in that approach. But Tikkun Olam has been there from the beginning. In the beginning, Kokom was in a constant communication with Vera and Timoviv. But that connection was severed after her ex-lover realized that Kokom had begun the process of having her child return. Kokom struggled to keep hope alive. It's not losing faith. I still had a faith. But it's like sometimes when you see that you're struggling and you don't see an answer beside of the government, like you feel that your hands are tied up. But I never lose my faith because I truly believe in a God. With the support from local and U.S. lawyers and experts, a deposition hearing was held on December 5th and 6th at the DPP's office in Orange Rock Town. Since then, Kokom and all those who assist her, including the Orange Rock community and Unibam, have been waiting for a decision which was delivered on Wednesday. That was a moment that was joyful. I was like, I didn't, I really was expecting that, but not in a short time because I, what I asked, I said, I don't want nothing for Christmas. The only thing that I want for the new year is to see my daughter back. And that, what I saw, that miracle. And it was so joyful. Timofeev has the choice to appeal the court's decision. Hippolyto Novello, News 5.